his presence. Tell your neighbor, our secret it is to believe in him. Believe in his word. Believe in his spirit and in his power. How great is your belief in God? When your belief is in the right place, it is not a mental ascent. You are bound to encounter him. Our belief as his people must come from the right place. Most of us, we claim to have found God, but our confession of him, it is a mental ascent. Men's intellect, ability to understand the word, even to orate it, does not advocate for the relationship that we have with Jesus. Our knowledge of the word and man's ability to talk about God does not advocate for the relationship. How do we know that you as a believer, as a Christian, you have relationship with God. Ask your neighbor, how do we know that you as a Christian, as a believer, you have a relationship with God when your faith is born of the heart by the spirit enablement? Without the Holy Spirit, we are able to understand the Bible but not the word. Jesus manifest himself through his scripture being the word, not necessarily verses. It is possible by man's intellectual ability, capacity to understand the Bible and yet not have a relationship with Jesus. Being a Christian is a very complex issue, project, and a celestial order. I said to someone this week, many people who claim to be Christians, they are not because it is possible to believe in the principles of Christianity and yet not be a Christian. As I drive through to church, on, on the side of the road, there's people marching, going along life and the business, as if it's not a day ordained to worship God. What does it mean? If you ask this person, are you a Christian? They will confess it with all of their heart. But God said to me, it is possible. For one to believe in the principles of Christianity and yet not be a Christian. Because being a Christian, it means that your heart has been totally sold to Christ. The day we become born again, there is an exchange that take place we give Jesus our heart and he give us our being the question is this morning if you say you are a Christian do you possess the spirit of God ask your neighbor do you possess the spirit of God are you able to function as Jesus function because it's not possible to have the spirit of jesus and operate differently God. 
listen if you take the angel of a mercedes benz and you put it into a toyota toyota will operate in full capacity as the mercedes benz this is what i'm talking about if you have received the spirit of jesus at the time of salvation you can fully operate as Jesus. Where are we getting it wrong? As his people. That is a great question. Let's read our Bibles. Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 8. Verse 19. If you are there, it reads as follows. For creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Another translation says, creation waits eagerly for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. It brings me to the title of the message original spirituality tell your neighbor original spirituality what does it mean when we talk about original spirituality remember what I said two weeks back if you had the privilege to have met God the father in the beginning you would have encountered everything that you see under the sun even in the heavenlies if you had a privilege to meet God in eternity past you as a human being as a person and you shake his hand you would have met the mountains you would have shook a hand with the oceans the valleys and men of different nations because everything that is came from within God including you before you entered the womb of your parent you as a person you were sitting inside God but you never knew and you don't remember the Bible says, after he had formed man from the dust of the ground, he breathed his breath into man and he became a living soul. It means that God the Father released a part of himself into dust that dust may become alive. It means that that dust when it was walking in it it was god who have multiplied into dust but we forgot her original spirituality now the bible says in the book of romans chapter 19 that creation itself is waiting for what it's not saying for building up it's saying for what for manifestation the word manifestation means to reveal what is there but it is unknown why is creation waiting eagerly because when God spoke and he breathed his breath into man creation was your brother it was seated next to you inside God so it remembers what took place and you don't remember when we left God the original spiritual place where we were seated and we entered the body a veil veil of forgetfulness came over our mind 
that's why Jesus had to come to rescue us deliver us that we may remember who we are Christianity cannot be Christianity until the consciousness of God arise in us salvation we will continue to talk about God but failing to reveal him because we have not received the consciousness of God inside us the Bible say Paul said I consider everything to be garbage because Paul finally the veil was removed and he remember original spirituality it is from that time that Paul started to move with power to witness for Christ listen to the word the Bible say after he encountered Christ he lost his sight after three days after laying of hands there was what scales that fell from his eyes it means that Paul was now what conscious of what original spirituality the consciousness of God arose in Paul that when he prayed for people and they became healed other men wanted to worship him because they saw God in the shadows of the body of man every human being under the sun is carrying Jesus is carrying God in themselves but they cannot see when the consciousness of God inside us arises we will speak to the son it will stand still go and ask Joshua he will tell you when God inside him arose the son cooperated it stood in one place until his enemies were overcome go and ask Moses when the consciousness of God have risen he spoke to the Red Sea and it divided Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in the midst of fire they could not be set ablaze because the consciousness of God was awake fire when it looked at them it saw a brother because the consciousness of God was awake there are areas in our lives that we fail to tap into because we are sleeping inside that's why creation is waiting eagerly to see who will remember who they are there was a spirit of timidity inside Gideon Gideon thought he's a very weak man and God came to remind him he said to him be thou greeted thou mighty man of Allah there was a warrior inside Gideon he never knew because the consciousness of God was overshadowed by a veil of forgetfulness we need to awake so we can be able to execute our assignments we need to awake within ourselves that we may be able to become who we were before Jesus himself said Lord father so that you may restore the glory that I had when I was with you before you don't know who you are that's why you don't even know 
how to approach God, let alone how to pray. Prayer is deeper than saying words. Tell your neighbor, prayer is more deeper, more complex than just saying words. Many people have been told that prayer is words. Prayer is a location where we commune with God. Atmosphere, not necessarily exchange of words. You can be quiet and yet be praying. What atmosphere have you crafted for you to come in with God? Moses said, be still. Because he was what? In prayer. The atmosphere was there. Him and God, there was a traffic. And yet, his lips never moved. There is a realm where the veil of forgetfulness is removed and we find ourselves. There is a realm where prayer works, where prayers are answered immediately. You don't have to wait. The problem you are out of alignment. Tell your neighbor. The problem, you are out of alignment. You are out of God's jurisdiction. However great, the police, law enforcement of South Africa may be, if you move out of their jurisdiction, they can't save you. They cannot save you. They cannot operate because they are out of what? Jurisdiction. When you pray to God, the first thing that you need to be sure of, am I in the place that he has suggested? The Bible says, when he returned to Eden, though knowing the location of Adam, he asked the question, Adam, where are you? Because sin pushed Adam out of God's jurisdiction. Sometimes we pray, we fast, we do everything. But if our lifestyle does not cooperate with God, we must not expect God to come to our rescue. I want you to tell your neighbor, if our lifestyle does not cooperate with Jesus, we must not expect Jesus to come to our rescue because we are out of jurisdiction. We need to constantly seek God in truth and in spirit seek Holy Spirit, seek relationship with God that when he has to help us, we are within his jurisdiction. In the same atmosphere, real with God. For thousands of years, unbelievers can cry until they position themselves through Christ Jesus, their prayers will never be answered. Have you positioned yourself? Everyone can be a child of God, but not everyone can attain this state of sonship. 
through Christ, through what he did at Calvary, everyone can be what? A born again child of God. But not everyone can reach this state. What is this state of sons and daughters where you manifest God as if he's physically present? There is a state of spirituality where his children they manifest him as if he's physically there. This is what creation is interested in to see who has remembered. Can you manifest God? In this level of spirituality, when someone prays there, he said, Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. You'll be able to see if God has forgiven this person or God is not interested. Because God looks at the heart. It's not everyone who comes to the altar and say, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart. That salvation will take place. In other instances, it does not happen. Because Jesus knows this person is lying. They love their old ways. God looks at what? The heart. The Bible says, when you believe and you confess, not only when you confess, others are confessing. If God can show you hearts of Christians, you realize that some people, they are imposters. God is not aware of them. Remember what he said? He said, I will say to them, I don't know you. Get away from me. You who break God's law. It's not me. I didn't write it. It's there. It's God. Are you sure you are a Christian? For starters, before we even talk about sons and daughters, are you sure you are a Christian? Or you are only inspired by principles of Christianity? Go and ask the sons of Skiva. They went to pray for people in the name of Jesus that Paul talks about. They got their first success and few other successes and they thought that they were until they met a stiff opposition. All this law, they thought that they and Paul, they drink from the same reservoir and it was not so until they met what? stiff opposition that can select chaff from the real thing Christianity is a complex divine project it did not originate with man but it was created for man Christianity listen when you attain this state of original spirituality consciousness of God your prayer changes you know when to petition and ask and you know when to command Sixty percent of your prayer will include what? Commanding. You will have the creative word in your mouth. You will speak things and they happen. Because you carry the nature of God. Let there be. When God was creating the earth, he was not asking. He was not negotiating. He was commanding, let there be light. Light appear. Let there be this. And it appeared. Because he commands. You don't know 
how to speak to a storm in your life. Even the devil is praying around your life. You just have to tell him, devil, and he'll move. Trouble in your marriage, you tell him, in the name of Jesus, out, it will listen. Poverty, you command it. Out in the name, it will listen. Because of who you are carrying, who you are, you know who you are. The devil knows an imposter. When you command and you are aware of who you were, who you are, and who you will be, you will listen. 